Hi guys, my name is Nagadachan and welcome to my reaction summary for Tokyo Ghoul first season. Uh, episode 5 Scars, Episode 6 Cloudburst, Episode 7 Captivity, and Episode 8 Circular. This is an archived version, so links for actual reactions are in description. And here I will just shortly summarize what kind of happens in the episodes. So episode 5, Scars, is continuation of Shu arc and kind of his obsession with Kaneki and him luring Kaneki to a church. Uh, I think it was because he was holding... Um, Nishia's girlfriend there. And of course Kaneki went there, but he was just too weak, but at least Haka appeared at the end <laughs> and saved the day. Yeah, Nishio came but he wasn't able to do anything because I think he was still hurt from his fight with um Kaneki. And there was like a very nice scene about Nishio and his girlfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend. I really like their relationship. I really like Nishio. I really like Shu because he's such an amazing character. Who doesn't love Shu? Even though he's crazy and he wants to eat Kaneki, I like him. I just love crazy psychos, okay? Hisoka, Shu, Orochimaru, I don't care, they're amazing. <laughs> Episode 6, Cloudburst, is, yeah, Tsukiyama is defeated by Toka, and she presented a really beautiful wing, our wings? I think it was just a one wing, I don't remember, maybe wings. I really love her Kaguna, she looks so amazing, it's, uh, oh, it's so cool. And I think she wanted to kill Nishia's girlfriend, but Kaneki was like, please no, but... Nisha's girlfriend looked at her, she woke up and she was like, wow, you're so beautiful. And that kind of shocked Oka because I don't think she never ever heard something like that from a human when she was in her ghoul form. Like, she lives in a world when ghouls are kind of fucked over and are hated and people are scared of them. And if they sight some ghoul, they'll just kill him, destroy him call CCG to kill them. So I can understand that why she wanted to kill her and why she was so shocked. <laughs> yeah. But also there are some uh, CCG stuff happening. Yeah, Kuro and uh, Amon are appearing and they're hunting some ghouls. And I think, yeah, they met Hinami's father. Was there also Jason too, I think? Yeah, I think Jason heard Hinami's father and they were fighting Hinami's father and, well, they killed him. And they wanted to use his remains or blood to attract more ghouls or maybe his family or something like that. Exactly remember how it was. But maybe they knew that he had family so they wanted to trap him and I think Mado was very excited about that. Yeah, Mado is cray cray. I really like him too. Uh, episode 7 is Captivity. Which is, yeah, uh, after Hinami and her mother were kinda attracted. Or Hinami was running after the smell of blood and they kinda bumped into Mado and Amon. Uh, Hinami's mother was killed by Mado, sadly. And uh, I think Toka, it made Toka very angry, of course. So she kind of went after revenge and wanted to kill the people who killed Hinami's mother, of course, or parents, lo logically. And I think she was fighting with... She killed someone, one CCG member, I think. And she attacked Amon. 
but I think he wasn't doing so well. That's why Mado came and helped him with his Kinka, and I think he hurt Toka. He's really, Mado was really good. And I think Kaneki, because he saw that, offered her a help to fight investigators, and that's why they went to Uta for a mask, so he wouldn't be known. I don't exactly remember how it went. It was some time ago. So yeah, a lot of stuff happened in this episode, especially the death of Hinami's mother. It was really sad. Yeah, and Kaneki was going after that, so Hinami ran into Kaneki and he at least saved her. <laughs> it was so depressing. Yeah. And... The mask Uda made was really cool, though. Even though I hate Uda, tell me what you want, whatever you want. I don't care if you like Uda, I hate him. I mean, there is not even anything interesting about him in the first season. But he has such a huge fan base of fangirls, I'm like... Why, though? Why? I never liked him. I mean, I didn't hate him at it point, but I didn't like him. I never saw what's in him, why he has so many fangirls. Then I learned something about his history and I was like, yeah, I hate the guy. Right. Then an eight episode circular which is with <laughs> excited, <laughs> which is a huge step because Mado is after Hinami, so he lures her again and uh, for at least she's followed by Taka and Kaneki, so they're there to help. And Kana, they split because Taka ends fighting Mado and Kaneki ends up fighting Amon. And it was really cool fights. Especially, I really loved the fight between Amon and Kaneki. Because it wasn't just a physical fight, but it was also Kaneki trying to, like, not fight or hurt him. So it kind of made Amon think about ghouls, you know, and I really love that. But then he learned that Mado was killed by ghouls, so it just was flushed again. Yikes, you thought uh, he will make a progress. Nope. <laughs> it was good, I really liked that. And yeah, uh, Mado was fighting Taka, he was using a uh, king quest from Hinami's mother and father that was really fucked up. And Toka wasn't doing... well, she was kind of doing well, but not at well. And until Hinami helped her, I think. Yeah, Hinami released her Kaguna, which is very beautiful, and helped Toka, saved her. And Mado was killed. Yeah. And it was the, that, like, very sad scene for Toka that she was like, why are the dude is wearing gloves? Is he like so disgusted of us? And she like took his gloves and he was wearing a ring. So it kinda hit her. She probably never thought that, yeah, even though these people are killing us, they still have families, you know? And I probably killed a father or husband and there is someone waiting for them. And she knows the feeling because her parents were killed too, so... That made her realize that stuff is kind of deep. <laughs> I really like that. She probably never thought about these kind of things. You know, they're enemies and I need to kill them. The end. But she probably realized that they have families too. They suffer too and stuff. Like, this problematics on both sides that both sides are wrong but also right is really good because both sides are trying to kill each other, which is wrong, but both sides are trying to survive, which is right. <laughs> so yeah, I really like it. Like many people took one side only, but I really love it and I understand both sides. So this is all for this kind of summary archived version or next four episodes. And I think that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.